Hello and welcome to Tech Select with me, Linus. In today's video, we are yet again having a look at the Galaxy Chromebook Go right there. Now, in today's video, we are looking at how to set up this wonderful machine and also how to get your Linux applications installed. Let's go. Before we dive into the whole setup process of this Galaxy Chromebook, it's about time I get to tell you about where you can get a Galaxy Chromebook like this one right here in Uganda. If you're looking for one, go right now to www.oduka.com. That is the one place you can buy yourself a trusted a Chromebook right here in this here country, Uganda. So oduka.com is your number one trusted online store for you to buy all your electronics right there. So go right Right now click on oduka.com and buy yourself a wonderful chromebook like this one from oduka now today i am having a quick look into uh this uh, samsung chromebook right here very beautiful piece of technology we're going to be trying to uh, set it up you know customize it to our feelings and as well install some uh, linux applications and some other applications as well now beauty of this uh, here chromebook is as soon as you open the lid it does automatically turn itself on you don't necessarily need to hit the power button over here i really like the layout you know with all the keys in uh, lowercase nothing in uppercase like you'd find on windows already i noticed there is no um start button like you'd find on the windows start button right there that doesn't exist as this here is a chromebook now in order for you to set up your chromebook as soon as you have got it right there you just have got to click get started and then this is where you do need an active internet connection in order for you you know uh to to, to, to get it all set up now for those that do not have wi-fi you're going to need to uh you know get a dongle because this here does not come with any ethernet port whatsoever so if you are an ethernet person you're going to have to get a usb type c dongle uh you know to get yourself um an ethernet port but definitely get yourself wi-fi and you're good to go you can even just you know hotspot it from your phone like i am doing now um right let's just put in the password for my uh, internet connection there we go and we are loading let's get this closer all right here because we need to see what exactly it is we are doing now on this page here basically it is uh, terms of service and all of that we're going to accept and continue it's going to check for updates all uh, right there and then determining the device configuration this is definitely all at a uh, fast startup now right here it is asking um who is uh, setting up this device are you setting it uh, up for personal use over here or are you setting it up for a child now in child def definitely there are digital ground rules that you know help uh, protect and uh, what the kind of com uh, content your child is exposed to and this just alone gives it a very good um security feature especially for parents that don't want their kids accessing all kinds of uh, wrong information online so i'm setting it up for myself as i'll be done using this chromebook right here and then here we go now at this point you're asked to sign into your google account now in this case let's see we have um text select ug as our gmail account right there you don't have to put the at gmail uh, google to automatically you know find that uh, for you now right there there it says welcome text select enter your password let's uh, have that entered in right here and then we go to next now automatically um everything that has let's say if you have used a chromebook before all your previous settings that are attached to that particular account get automatically are uh, transferred onto your new uh, chromebook that's the beauty of chrome os everything is you know synchronized through the cloud and it just gets you know input uh input <laughs> or synced over uh, to whatever it is uh, you have now here you have um the sync uh, page sync your chromebook application settings and more so in case let us say you've uh, used the chromebook before uh, you don't have to go through the hassles and, and all of those things afresh everything just gets automatically uh, brought back the way it was so here you see it is loading my application applications loading google assist and all those things so you just have to agree to most of these um commands over here and just uh, like that we are almost done uh, setting up as you can see we are set so we just click get started 
now immediately you see we are logged into you have this welcome screen and all of that and basically this here is what you get when you log on to a chromebook uh, right there so it's nothing really very uh fancy per se it's just a nice clean desktop uh, experience right there with nothing really there there is a small uh button on the side that would be like your equivalent of your start menu uh, click that and then you can widen that over there so already i noticed if you see i'm trying to scroll upward but that doesn't work as you know with with uh, this here you have got to the, the direction of scroll def directly equates to what exactly you're scrolling so if you're scrolling down you've got to pull downward and if you're scrolling up you've got to push upward it's not like on windows where it's basically the opposite so scrolling up you push up scrolling down is you know exactly what it is you're trying to do right there now um on here let's move ahead and look at um offline applications now of course, we've all known that uh, Chromebooks heavily rely on the internet. However, there are some applications that you can um, utilize offline right there. In terms of uh, doing um, notes and stuff, I personally prefer installing a Linux app called LibreOffice. But of course, there are workarounds where you can have all these here, like Google Sheets over here. Um, you can have a way of having an offline uh, version of your file. I've seen that happen very clearly with, um, for instance, um, with Google Docs right here, you can have an option where here in settings, you can, you know, uh, activate this offline mode where it says create an open uh, create open and edit your recent uh, google docs on this device while offline now this will definitely allow you you know to create and edit and all those things when you are offline no need for internet in that case i personally prefer installing apps uh, the linux applications such as libreoffice and i'll be walking you through that in a bit right let's go into settings and customization now in terms of settings there is a lot that that, you know you can do with uh this chromebook what I actually like the fact is once you go into settings uh, everything is just very simply well laid out to you as you can see this here on the side network bluetooth connected devices everything is just well laid out for you uh, right there now in the other thing that i actually do love about the settings is that since the settings are too many um right there you can just go ahead and search for a setting you need let's say if we are looking for um um, a particular setting maybe we are looking for an app setting or as soon as you type in the word app it will bring you all these uh, different you know, options just telling you maybe this or that so that you can easily locate the file or a setting that you're looking for so that you know you can quickly uh, go through and set whatever it is you want uh, to work whatever direction you want in terms of personalization you know we have you can change your account image from whatever is there this is my default one text select and then of course you can always choose any of these avatars over here and then of course you can go wallpaper screen server the usual stuff that you know you would find anywhere but of course this here does give you um options customize you know something easy for you to customize and and you know just make your chromebook feel like you know it's in it's yours like whatever your preference is so i've just changed my wallpaper over there as simple as that now we have a nice beautiful elegant uh, wallpaper out there now um moving over to linux apps now linux apps uh the chromebook is basically uh best of google chrome and google chrome is also best of linux operating system so you can have linux applications running on your chromebook now if we just go let's say over here and go back to settings and in settings like i said earlier if you're looking for a particular setting you just can just search it over here so that it doesn't uh take us too far so i'm just going to go to linux over here and we have the main page now uh, all you have to do is when you get it linux development environment is not enabled by default so you have got to go and enable uh, that right there now to enable that you've got to come all the way to your um to the right hand side of your settings go down to developers and then here linux development environment this year you've got to enable it now once you are enabled uh you definitely now have you know access um to linux operating uh, system uh, files and uh applications mainly so all you have to do now is go up here go to the main menu which would be like your start menu scroll all the way to the bottom and we're looking for an uh, a new icon that says linux apps now of course none of them 
not coming installed easy like if you've used linux before you know everything uh, does love going through terminal so you're going to have to install uh, to open terminal and once you open terminal that's why you put in the commands you know to install whatever it is you need since uh, many of us are not very uh, familiar and good at mem memorizing some of these uh, commands you just go to google and now you can search what it is you want to install for instance now if i want to install um let us say a gimp photo editor right there and i'm not sure of the command i can just go search it how to uh install gimp on a chromebook right there and then somewhere in here they will give you the command right there as you can see these are different commands for LibreOffice, transmission filezilla all of this audacity so i'm trying to see um they didn't give us an code for gimp and since my internet is uh, kind of running low let's just go with uh, transmission so transmission for those i don't know it is like um it's like a torrenting uh, torrent client right there so let's go back over here to our you know our terminal post that in and then there you go as you can see that is downloading that is downloading beautifully and everything is running very well and we are done now if we go over here back to our original main menu and scroll all the way down go to a new folder that says linux apps we should be here it is transmission is installed so it's as easy as that so you don't really have to you know uh cram all of these uh commands and whatnot just go search it up and you can get it although what i know is most of the linux guys who are very very used to using linux definitely do know all these commands up in there you know in their heads and something it's just something very uh, easy for them now finally we would like to look at uh, power wash now power washing on uh, this chromebook is basically the equivalent of you let's say um resetting your device to factory uh, default so that would be maybe if you are let's say maybe you're ready to move on to a new device or you're selling uh, your chromebook or let's maybe it's just not functioning well and you want to reset it it just makes it something very simple for you to do now power wash on this actually is very interesting in that this is the fastest reset I have seen uh, on a, any kind of machine yet. So uh, all you have to do is go over here to settings. And then uh, like I, I told you earlier about settings as opposed to trying to figure out what settings were. Just search for what you're looking for. In this case, we are looking for power wash, which is right here. Now power wash removes all user accounts and reset this Google Chrome and to be just like new. Right, so let me just pull this over here so that we can have a clear look at what we're dealing with. And then let's hit reset. Now here we are, it's saying power wash to reset your Chromebook just like new. Now what shocks me is how quick this entire process is and how fast it happens. So let's just hit power wash here in three, two, one, and go. And there we go, hit continue, go. Now, of course, now it has gone into a black screen, so it is resetting all the, uh, the, you know, the accounts, the settings, all the files that have been saved, all those are being removed. Now, as you can see, already back to a black screen, and within no time, it is up and running, ready to go. This is just something very amazing. So, even if you're like in a quick rush and, you know, you really need to get that Chromebook, you know, quickly reset, it's done in a matter of seconds. That didn't even take a minute, and it was already uh, done. So that was a quick uh, look into the Galaxy Chromebook Go uh, setup process and also how to install some applications. If you do like the content that you're watching right here, consider subscribing as it would definitely push the channel far. And of course, also remember to hit the notification bell so that you are alerted each time a new uh, video. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.